Hey all, my name is Jakub Piesik and on today's movie I want to show you something which is related to the Microsoft Intune, the Entra ID and the Apple Business Manager. I will show you how to add the custom domain for the Apple Business Manager and how to enable the federated authentication for the Entra ID and Apple Business Manager. So let's start. At first step, you need to log on to the Apple Business Manager, go to the Preferences and go to the Accounts. Here you will see the domains which is already added to your Apple Business Manager account. And if I click Edit, there will be a possibility to add a new domain. So I will add that. I will type the name of my domain. Now I need to verify that domain with that information. This domain is not verified. So I'm clicking the verify button and I should get the information that I need to add the necessary txt record. So I'm copying it. I'm going back to my domain provider. Here is my domain, which I will be editing. I'm clicking the add entry, the txt record without the subdomain because I will be using the main domain value like something like that. I'm clicking the next, I'm confirming, and it's here. It's already added. So I'm going back to the Apple Business Manager, click the check now, and see, the domain is now verified. What does it mean? That means if you go to the users, we'll try to add a new user, for example, test user, test user, I will be able to add not only my the corporate domain, not only the appleid.com domain, but I will be able also to use the mvplab.top domain for the user. And this user will be logging with the corp my corporate account. So I can click the save button. Ah, sorry, I need to update the necessary roles and location email address and now the test user was added properly and it's visible on that list as we see manage apple id mvp lab dot top now if we already added our custom domain to the apple business manager we will create a federated authentication for our entra id so we are going again to the preferences go to the accounts and go to the federated authentication. This federated authentication allow your users to sign into their manage Apple ID by signing into their identity provider and in that will be in our case the Microsoft Entra ID. So I'm clicking the edit and I will provide the Microsoft Azure Active Directory the Entra ID. So I'm clicking the connect. Now I get information that Apple Business Manager will request the permission necessary to sync your list of users and prompt your users to sign in whenever their Microsoft password has changed. Allow the permission requested on the following screens to complete the setup process. Now I need to log on with the My Administrator account in the Enter ID. Now the new application is will be created and this application is requesting permissions like the sign in and read user profiles. This is the new application and I will be accepting that application in my tenant. I'm clicking the accept. Now the authorization is in progress and we see that federated authentication setup is completed. There is one additional step what you need to do after the previous configuration. You are again going to the preferences, accounts, domains and click on the edit. You need to find the domain which you added properly and click on the federate button. Now you need to sign in with the account with the proper permissions and click in sign in with Microsoft. Now you will get information that Federate Domain is successfully, but the Apple Business Manager need to verify if the Apple ID are using this corporate domain. We can click on the Done and click Federation Not Enabled to the Enable. When that will be done, you will be able to enable the directory sync for automatic creation accounts in the users in the Apple Business Manager for Manage Apple ID. 
but about that in the next movie. Thank you and see you on the next movie. Bye bye.